Hi there! Welcome once again to Mathematics Alive. Our lesson for today is addition of polynomials using algebra tiles and subtraction of polynomials using algebra tiles. So, first, let me introduce to you the algebra tiles that we have. I use color coding for these algebra tiles, which means that um, this tile, which is uh, x unit in length and x unit in y, is equal to x squared. x times x is equal to x squared. And then, the negative of x squared is a red tile. Then, I have another algebra tile, which is 1 inch by x. So, this is x times 1. The area of this tile is x. And this is a unit tile because it is 1 by 1. And 1 times 1 is equal to 1. The area of this tile is 1 inch squared. And the negative of 1 is this. So, we're ready for our addition. So, we have 2x plus 3 plus 3x minus 2, represented by 2x's and 3. So, 1, 2, 3. 3 unit tiles. And then, plus 3x's, so we have this, and minus 2, so you have negative 1 and negative 1. If we add them together, uh, let's remember that you will only add similar terms. So, the similar terms are similar areas or similar tiles. You cannot add um, one tile to another tile which is not similar. So we will only add the, the green tiles or the x's together to get the answer. And we'll also add the unit tiles together. So we have 3 plus 2. We have 5 x's. So 2 plus 3 x is 5 x. Then 3 plus negative 2. Remember that if you put together one negative and one positive tile, it becomes a zero pair. So we set aside the zero pair. Then another zero pair. So we have 1 minus 1, 0. So what is left? We have positive 1. So in effect, we have 3 minus 2 is equal to positive 1. The answer is 5x plus 1. Second example. We have 3x squared represented here and minus 2x represented by the two red tiles and plus 1 here plus x squared plus 3x minus 4. Putting them together, we have 3 plus automatic, you have 1 here. So you have 4x squared. Put them all together. So we have 4x squared. And then 3 minus 2. So we have two red tiles and then uh, we will pair that with two green tiles. This is 
a zero pair. And another one, this is a zero pair. So we have to set this aside. What is left? We have an x. So 3 minus 2 is equal to positive x. Then negative 4 plus 1. So since we have uh, 4 negatives and only 1 positive, we can only have one zero pair. And we set this aside. What is left? So you have this as your answer. Okay, so minus 3. The answer is 4x squared plus x minus 3. So now that we have concretized our addition of uh, polynomials using algebra tiles, we can go now to the abstraction. Without the al algebra tiles, we can do our addition. So uh, the third example is uh, three polynomials added together. So remembering that the same terms or similar terms should be added or it should be lined up in one column. And if a polynomial has um, no x, y here, so just leave it that. And uh, all the y squared here are placed in one column. So you will only add all the y squared and all the x squared and all the x y's. So uh, first you add the numerical coefficients. So 3 plus 5 minus 2. So we have 3 plus 5, 8 minus 2, positive 6 x squared. Then 5 minus xy, it's automatically 1, so you have positive 4xy. And then, uh, so we have here two negatives, we add the two negatives first. So we have negative 3 plus 4 is equal to positive y. You don't need to put the 1 because that is already understood. That you have 1y squared. Now let's move on to subtraction of polynomials. Okay, we again use the algebra tiles to concretize our subtraction. Example number 1, we have 2x squared, represented by the two squares here, minus 3x, represented by the three negative red tiles, plus 1, minus x squared, minus 2x, plus 4. Um, the rule in subtraction is you identify first the minuend and the subtrahend, the minuend is the first polynomial, and then the subtrahend is the polynomial being subtracted from the minuend. So uh, it follows the negative sign. Now, the rule is to change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to ordinary addition. So here we change the sign here of the subtrahend and proceed to ordinary addition. But uh, it follows that the sign of this numbers here or this symbols here should also be changed. So the x squared will become negative x squared. And then the two negative Excess will also be changed to positive.
and then all this positive ones will be will become negative. You have negative four. Or you simply change the sign here. I will change the sign here. Plus, then this becomes negative, positive, and negative. Okay. The signs above are the prevailing signs now. So, we proceed to addition. So, 2x squared minus x squared. So, we combine this and this. We have a zero pair. So we set this aside, and what is left is this, our difference. What is left is x squared. Then we have three x's here and two x's. So we have two pairs of zero pairs. What is left is negative x, negative 3x plus 2x is equal to negative x. And positive 1 minus 4. So we have just one zero pair set aside. And what is left? We have negative this is now the answer our difference for our example number two subtract 2x squared minus 6y plus 7 from 7x squared plus 2y minus 3 again we determine which is the subtrahend and which is the minuend. The polynomial that comes after the word subtract is the subtrahend. And the polynomial that comes after the word from is the minuend. So we first write the minuend and subtract in vertical form. Again, the rule is change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to ordinary addition. So we change the signs here. This is negative, positive, negative. So we have negative 2x squared plus 6y minus 7 and proceed to ordinary addition. So we have 7 minus 2 is 5x squared and then 6 plus 2 equals 8y and then negative 3 and negative 7 is negative 10. So, we have just finished our lesson, addition of polynomials and subtraction of polynomials. I hope you have learned from our lesson and if you find it helpful, then please like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the red button below.